All right, so 21 is a lot like 23. Uh, again, we have a triangle. C is the right angle. That means that the side across from it is little c, which also means the side across from it is the hypotenuse. Okay? Then we've got to find angle A or B. So where do you want angle A? Doesn't matter. It could be up or down. Yeah. Down. Okay? So if this is angle A, this is what does matter. If this is what angle A is, then that means opposite of angle A, because that's the one we're looking for. That's the one we're looking for. Opposite of angle A is opposite side. Okay? OPP. That's huge. Right? Because then... What that means is this side has to be the adjacent, right? And from that, I also got a list. The opposite side is little a. And the opposite side of this, this is obviously going to be called b. Okay? Which means the opposite side of b is little b. And that's huge. Because we know that little b equals 6. So that's a 6 and that's a b. I know it's hard to tell. But, you know, people always hate my b's and my 6's. And, but that's just the way it goes. So b and 6. Okay? So c, c is 10. And the one thing I know here is this looks like a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Right? Because... 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 3 is 6. So that means this is a 3, 4, 2 times 4, so A has to be 8. Now I could have done A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but remember, use your triangles, the triples, anytime you can. And remember, all the triples are 3, 4, 5. Alright? Uh, 5, 12, 13, right, and uh, 7, 24, 25, is that right, and then, uh, what's that, 8, 15, 17, okay, those are four that are very common, okay, so after I know this, tangent a is equal to opposite over adjacent, right? So opposite, opposite was OPP, which was A, which is 8. And A is adjacent, not A, little a, but adjacent, which is B, which is 6. Then what I can do is reduce it. So I've got 4 over 3. So tangent of A is equal to 4 over 3. There we go.